What if we told you that something as simple as a honeycomb or a lotus seed pod could send shivers down your spine? Welcome to the strange world of trypophobia, the fear of holes. Trypophobia is often described as an irrational fear or disgust of clusters of small holes or bumps. It's not officially recognized as a phobia by psychologists, but millions of people around the world report feeling uneasy, anxious, or even nauseous when they see patterns of holes. But why do people have this reaction? Some researchers believe that trypophobia may be an evolutionary response. The sight of clustered holes could resemble patterns found in poisonous animals, infectious diseases, or other dangerous elements in nature, triggering a survival instinct in our brains. The term trypophobia is relatively new, first coined in the early 2000s. It comes from the Greek word tripa, meaning hole, and phobia, meaning fear. The word gained popularity through internet forums and social media, where people shared images and discussed their reactions to them. Legend has it that the modern awareness of trypophobia took off after an artist in the early 2000s shared an image of a lotus seed pod photoshopped onto human skin. The image went viral, sparking widespread curiosity and discomfort. Though it was all in good fun, many people found themselves deeply unsettled and began to self-identify as having trypophobia. You're not alone if you feel this way. Even celebrities experience trypophobia. Model Kendall Jenner has admitted to feeling incredibly uncomfortable when she sees clusters of tiny holes. Actress Sarah Paulson also shared in an interview that she has a strong aversion to these patterns. So, what can you do if you find yourself getting queasy at the sight of holes? Try looking away or focusing on your breathing. Cognitive behavioral therapy and gradual exposure can also help. Whether it's a natural instinct to protect us or just a quirky aspect of our minds, trypophobia is a fascinating look into how our brains work. Don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing stories and let us know in the comments if you would like me to look at other words, phrases or anything verbiage related. Thank you.